Good day world and welcome back to stuff we do where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Today we are looking at this awesomely interesting little thing. That is a G. So when you go search for this online, it's Inkco. Okay. Um, Chinese things or a Chinese brand, but it's as far as I know and what I've seen on reviews, it's good quality for super budget. Okay, now if you watched my previous video, I have my little, what do you call that things, worry stones um, floating in a mixture of uh, paraffin and citronella oil because that's what I had with me. Um why? Because I want to see if they turn slightly red. We'll see. Anyway, um, yeah, so if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Also, if you are interested in the giveaway, please go check out the giveaway video um, because tonight, 12 o'clock, the giveaway entries close. Okay, so now let's look at this thing. Last Sunday, my brother stopped here and he gave me this little thing. Now, I saw this online for anything from 59 Rand to 69 Rand, which means it's super inexpensive. And I quite like this thing. Okay, it feels awesome in hand. Now, what do we get on this thing? It's like a little multi-tool. Okay, we have a blade. Uh, let's just see. Okay. It can actually cut. I can feel a few hiccups, but it can actually cut. Can you believe that? Okay, so that's quite nice. Okay, now I'm not sure if this is the factory edge or if my brother actually played with this knife before, but anyway. But for a multi-tool with a knife, normally they are not the nicest things to hold in hand while cutting. Now this thing actually feels very nice in hand, and the blade is like the main purpose of this thing. So already this one gets a tick in my book. Now, yes, it's a stainless mystery steel. Nobody knows and it's made in China, but I quite like it. Then the second thing we have on here, pair of scissors. And now I threw my piece of paper away. Anyway, very functional, very nice scissors. Okay, so again, it actually feels nice to hold this thing while scissoring. Scissoring means something else while cutting with your scissors. Okay, then we have a can opener. <clears throat> okay, I'm not going to demonstrate it to you, but I did use it. It's not sharp, but it does have a bezel, bevel towards one side. But it's one of those that you have to use um, in reverse. You, you get what I'm saying? So you kind of reverse around the can. It's not like the forward ones. It's like a reverse one, whatever. When you open the can, you'll see what I mean. Then... We also have a flathead screwdriver over here, which is nice, and the cap lifter, and it works nicely. So if you want to open a beer, you can do that. Now, that's the three things we have on this side, or the three layers. Then on the back, we have a star screwdriver, and it actually feels wonderful in hand. So I like that. Again, this thing has been designed very nicely. It's got rubber and hard plastic, but it feels very nice and secure in hand. Okay. Normally, these multi-tool things, they do not feel like that. Okay. This thing does stand up a bit high, but like you saw, it's not a problem to actually open your fire. Well, it doesn't have... Oh, it does have an L file. Okay, not a super nail file, but it does work. Okay, so we have a nail file and we have a nail cleaner over there because we all need to look our best, especially if you are a professional hand model. And then we have the little corkscrew. Now, it looked very small to me compared to your standard Victory Knox one. But actually, it is not really that much smaller. So I suppose you can actually open a bottle of wine. You know, you're working, you're on the job, you have something to do, and then you rip out a few croissants and a bottle of red wine. Who knows what you do in life or at work. Okay, so this Inkco, 
Inco. Okay, so this Inco little multi tool for 60 rand, maybe one rand less, maybe nine rand more. This thing is fantastic. Oh, and my brother said he bought this thing at Boulder's Warehouse. Now, I saw it at a few other places online because I rarely these days go out to shop. I shop online. I am so lazy. I need to rectify that. Anyway, there we go. Inco Multi-Tool. This thing is quite fantastic. I normally do not like multi-tools. Um, okay, except for my Leatherman. What's that thing? Sidekick? Yes, the sidekick, except for that one. I do not like multi-tools. They're big, they're cumbersome. They do everything kind of right, but nothing really good. This thing is nice. It's like a Victory Knox, but at a super budget. Same size, whatever. Just way more ergonomic. Okay, although if you take this one out, you look like a real person. This one, your knife friends might snigger at you. Okay. Um... That's enough for me for today. You all have a fantastic day. Watch the other videos um, about this weekend. It's Stuff We Do Birthday Weekend. Yay! Um, tomorrow, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Hopefully, then we get to the real good stuff. Actually, real good stuff. I have like a light and whatnot I want to show you. Oh, and we still have to talk about that yellow knife. Okay, anyway, so we'll see what we do. This is also a yellow knife. Look, this is the one I was referring to. It's yellow. Okay, all of you stay safe, happy. Have a good one. Goodbye.